How you doing guys? Hope you're well. Uh, I'm just gonna dive straight into this. Um, it's not chefy, it's not a fine dining dish, it just tastes bloody good. Uh, minced beef omelette um, with a cilantro chimichurri. It, it, it is good. So I'm, I'm just gonna crack on with it. Right, the first thing is the minced beef mix. So what we need to do is dice our onion. And when you dice in your onion, don't worry, you, the cuts don't need to be perfect at all. And also, I'm gonna be using some ground beef, 80-20. You can use lean, whatever. 80-20 I'm using. Oop, nearly, nearly lost it. This mix is so easy. So, in the pan, some olive oil. When I drop these onions in the pan, I wanna hear a sizzle. I wanna hear a beautiful sizzle. If I don't hear a sizzle, the oil is too cold and the onions will suck up all the oil and it's not gonna be good. One, two, three. Beautiful. There's my sizzle. Right, you wanna sweat the onions off for a good, I don't know, five minutes, just, just to get nice and soft. Try not to get your onions brown. I want them nice and translucent. And when your onions are cooked, transfer them to a bowl. Because when you add the beef, you don't want these to burn. And when you cook the beef, you want it to be a nice golden brown, a dark brown, crispy. Just try and cook it on the edge. Don't cook it where it's burnt, but just nice and crispy, dark brown, beautiful. When your mince is cooked, add back your onions. And then turn the heat off and just give that a good stir. Because I've cooked that beef to the edge, not burnt, just nice and crispy, nice golden brown. I've got maximum flavor out of that beef. That's where I want it. So now I'm gonna add some more flavor. So I'm gonna add some garlic powder and some onion powder and some ground arissa. You can get this anywhere, any supermarket, grocery store, whatever you wanna call them, they've got this. And this is really, really good. Not that spicy, it's got a little kick, but the flavor's amazing. Right now, you wanna cook out them spices for a good five minutes just to wake them up because we're gonna add stock. If we just put the spices in, add the stock, it's gonna be gritty. They're not gonna be woken up. They're not gonna taste good. So, you know, make sure you cook them out for a good five minutes just to wake them up. Right now, get your stock in. So what the stock's done is lifted all that fond, those bits from the bottom of the pan, creating more flavor. And us cooks, we want maximum flavor. And that's what it is in that pan right there. Well, look, can you see? All that stock has gone straight into that beef. It's reduced down, creating more flavor. But that smells beautiful, tastes good. Right, the beef mix is done. Now for the cilantro chimichurri. All right, let's start off with the chimichurri. I've got my blender, got my cilantro, onion, garlic, olive oil, um, red wine vinegar, some chili flakes. I ain't got any lime or lemon. I ain't got any of that. So, I mean, this is all to taste. This is to your own taste buds, but I'll write the ingredients down for you. And uh, yeah, let's, let's crack on. It's a very simple, add your cilantro straight in, onion, garlic, olive oil, vinegar, and blitz. Then add your chimichurri to a bowl. So right at the end, add some salt, season to taste, and just for like a little bit of kick, some chili flakes. And that's it for the fridge. It's not a proper omelette, it's a cheats omelette. Um, back in the 90s, the restaurant where I used to cook, a lot of chefs, believe it or not, couldn't make an omelette. So what they'd do, they'd get an order and put it under the broiler, the grill, and, and that's what we're gonna do today. But if you want to learn how to properly do an omelette, a French omelette, link here. So I'm gonna do a, a, a four egg omelette. So add the eggs to a bowl. Nice. And then just give them a light whisk. I'm using a non-stick pan, medium heat. I sprayed a little oil. And now add your eggs straight in. Right now, eggs are in, low heat, and you wanna cook it underneath for about three to four minutes, just until it sets. And you can see around the edges, it'll start to set, and that's when you're nearly there. We're not gonna season right now, we're gonna season just before we put it under the broiler. And that's it, literally two minutes just under the broiler. And it should, say a little prayer, come out. Nice. I'm just gonna serve this pretty simple. So let's get some, some of that beautiful beef on there. Look at that. And then just some of that beautiful, chimichurri over the top. Some cilantro leaves just on top. And then just for a little bit of color, a little bit of kick, some chili peppers.
That's it, pretty simple dish. Few little steps to do, but it's pretty simple. And I know there's flavor in there. So, got to tuck in, got to. Mmm. Now that is where the flavor's at. Give it a go. Thanks, guys. How you doing, guys? Hope you're well. I'm going to dive straight into this. Um, it's, it's a quick dish. Um, chimichurri. No, it's not. I swear to God. Every time I start a video, every Tom, Dick, and f***ing Harry comes out and pisses me the f***ing ride off. Right, it's so the first thing we've got to do. Right, it's so the first thing what I'm going to do. It's so the first... It's the first thing. Oh. When you cook... Okay, this is f stupid. FedEx. And why have we got a glove on?